This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Unfortunately, we got some sad news to talk about here. Russ Haas passed away on December 15th here in 2001. Yeah. Recently had Charlie Haas on the Kurt Angle show and they discussed this a lot, but this had to be quite a shock. I know you guys had yeah. big plans for them as a tag team, or at least that's my understanding. They were right. still right. in developmental at the time, but a couple of Oklahoma boys who wound up being stud wrestlers at Seton Hall. This had to be right up your alley. What do you remember about this? Well, I remember meeting their dad and becoming friends with him. Uh, they, they were living in, uh, I think the funeral was in Houston cause I attended it, uh, and spent the day with the family and, and probably the night, uh, I thought that was my obligation and I felt I could be a service to the family if I was there and it worked out good. You know, we all went to dinner and had some laughs, had some Mexican food. I remember that, uh, and, and just tried to turn the tide of uh, so much heartbreak to it's a, it's a sad part of life that we all have to go through at some point in time. Uh, and so that's kind of where I was on that deal. I spent two days down there and I think the family really appreciated it. Uh, I, I really had a great relationship with the Charlie and Russ's dad. I think he was a former, either a secret service guy or FBI or something high level, uh, secret service type thing, but, but what a hell of a nice guy. And, uh, I like their family a lot. I'm glad Charlie's d- getting some, doing some wrestling. Uh, they were really good. And Russ may have been the better of the two. He was, uh, he might've been a little bit more cerebral. Uh, Charlie was an outstanding athlete. Yeah. We were going to do, do some business with those guys. And then we put, you know, let's put him with Kurt. I thought that was smart. That's a nice rub. Yeah. So, so, uh, yeah, it was heartbreaking to get that phone call was just terrible because he was so young and he hadn't been sick that we were aware of. And I think that changed maybe the protocol too, of, of, you know, now these guys are, they're, they're medically tested. They get physicals and all these things that should have been done forever, but they weren't. So, uh, I, I miss seeing how those guys would have evolved. If they, if, if Russ had lived, I think they'd have been a really good kind of like the Briscoes. There was a natural chemistry there. And of course, you're right. I was biased, uh, my Oklahoma boys, uh, and I just, it broke my heart to have that happen. Passing away at 27 from a heart attack, man, just, uh, way, way too soon. Yeah. I found him on his couch. Yeah. Deceased. It was just, just absolutely heartbreaking. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.